Spain's Football Federation accused the World Cup winner of lying about kiss from president. CNN, Spain's Football Federation has threatened to take legal action against one of the country's star players, Jennifer Hermoso, accusing her of lying about being kissed by Federation President Luis Rubiales. Hermoso said Friday that at no point did she consent to a kiss by the country's soccer chief at the medal ceremony last Sunday after Spain had won the Women's World Cup, writing on social media. I felt vulnerable and the victim of the impulse-driven, sexist, out-of-place out of place act without any consent on my part. In the statement, Friday is responding to Hermoso and Spain's Association of Professional Soccer Players. The Federation defended Rubianes, who described the kiss was mutual and spoke about unjust campaigns and fake feminism. The evidence is conclusive. The president has not lied, the Royal Spanish Football Federation said, alongside the descriptions of reporters attempting to support Rubiales claim. The RFEF and the president will demonstrate demonstrate to each of the lies that the, that are spread either by someone on behalf of the player or if applica applicable by the player herself. The RFEF and the president given the serious list of the content of the press release from the Foot Pro Union will initiate the corresponding legal actions, the statement said. The Federation went on to say that players had an obligation to participate in matches if they are called for it. After all, 23 members of Spain's World Cup winning squad, including Hermoso and nearly 50 other professional women soccer players, said they would not play a game for the country until Rubiales is removed from his position. On Saturday, the Federation, Federation doubled down on its accusations of lying against Hermoso. In a sense, it de deleted the statement the RFEF said, we have to state that Miss Jennifer Hermoso lies in every statement she makes against the president, and again, threatened legal action. It's unclear why the RFEF chose to delete the statement from its website. On Saturday, soccer's world governing body FIFA provisionally suspended Lubiales from all football-related activities after he said on Thursday that he had opened the disciplinary proceedings against Lubiales as he may have violated the game's basic rules of dissent conduct. On Friday, Luis Lubianes refused to resign. A day of extraordinary event. Following Spain's victory over England in the Women's World Cup final, Lubianes was film filmed kissing Hermoso on the lips after she had collected her winner's medal. Uh, Act which a 33-year-old said later that the day she didn't like and didn't expect. Lubiales, who said on Monday he had made a mistake, has come under fierce criticism throughout the week. From the soccer world and some Spanish politicians, including Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, who said the apology for what he called an unacceptable gesture was un enough was not enough. But on Friday, a scandal escalated further when Rubiales made a defiant speech at the Federation's Extraordinary General Assembly, where he empath empathically said he would not resign. In responding to Rubiales' speech, Hermoso said the RFEF president's explanation of the incident was ca categorically false, adding, I want to reiterate, as it did before that, I did not like this incident. She also described the refusal request to issue a statement to alleviate the pressure on Rubiales, saying she had been 
under continuous pressure to make a statement that could justify Mr. Luis Rubiales' actions. Not only that, but in different ways and through different people, the RF, REF has pressured by our surroundings, family, friends, teammates, to give a testimony that had little or nothing to do with my feelings, she added. On a statement posted on the, on the Players Union site, Foot Bro, and shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, the national team players said that those who had signed the statement would not put themselves forward for national team selection as long as actual leadership remains in place. No woman should see herself needing to answer questions based on the blunt images that her entire world has seen and, of course, no one should be involved in attitudes without consent, the statement read. It fills us with sadness that an act so unacceptable as this is managed to tarnish the biggest sporting achievement in Spanish women, women for history. Following Lubiana's consent on Friday, the president of Spain's High Council of Sport, CSD Victor Francos, said the council would look to suspend Lubiales as quickly as it could while following due process. The CD, CSD is an autonomous decision-making body of the Spanish government, Ministry of Culture and Sport, and has the potential power to demand the removal of Rubiales. However, to do so, the body needs to follow the series of required steps, including having a complaint filed against him and the case having to be heard in front of the tribunal. Some members of the Spanish soccer community have been especially critical of Rubiales' speech with El Mozo's international teammate and the two-time Ballon d'Or winner Alexia Putel tell us, holding it unacceptable. Spain men's international soccer Borja Iglesias said on social media he would not play for the national team until things change, while Spain's acting second deputy prime minister Yolanda Diaz called for Rubianes to resign. Patrick Song, David Close, and Kevin Dawson contributed reporting.